Hey there, I'm Matt Lang, and I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite tips and tricks with the Eventide H9 plugin bundle. My first introduction to an Eventide effect was called Genesis Worlds. It was an algorithm within the DSP 4000. And when I was at Berkeley, I had a professor there, Michael Brigida, who he basically had us put a theremin through the DSP 4000 and we used Genesis Worlds. And it's just this incredibly expansive, almost orchestral sounding uh, swell effect. So I wanted to recreate it because really there's been no way to do it aside from actually turning on my DSP 4000. But with the H9 plugins, I'm actually able to approximate it. So you just heard it, let's talk about how I made it. So I started just with a very simple patch using Generate. Really simple, you know, there's not a lot going on there. But the first thing to know about Genesis Worlds, the first two things in line are two parallel pitch shifters. And one's going up 700 semitones and the other is going down 500 semitones. So I'm gonna use crystals and I'm gonna do that same thing. But important to note with crystals, because typically it's gonna take both delay lines and pan them left and right, so I'm running them in uh, basically a dual mono mode within Pro Tools. And this allows me to basically have a mono signal where I can do both pitch shifting up and down and it stays mono. So this is crystals. And you can see I've set my pitch to be both on the A it's 700 and on B it's minus 500. As far as the delay time, I have a half note on A and I have a whole note on B. So as it gets down, it's basically half the tempo as the pitch that's actually going up. And then I've also added a little bit of reverb to it just to kind of swell or uh, smooth out the transition of the pitch because without it, I just don't want those attacks. So adding the reverb just, just smooths it a little bit. Next, I added the micro pitch and I'm doing this just because I really want to spread it out. So once again, I just have, uh, basically I'm just detuning the right channel, by, or the left channel, I'm sorry, by 13 milliseconds. And there's also uh, 13 cents. So now, it's slightly chorused, it's very wide. And the last thing in the chain is a big old black hole. And that's because the, um, the DSP 4000, the algorithm is, it's the parallel pitch lines into a giant modulated hall reverb. And fortunately for us, Black Hole is a giant modulated Hall reverb. So we engage Black Hole. And we get that gigantic Genesis Worlds kind of swell. I have Black Hole to be 100% wet. And it's uh, actually just, I started with the preset, uh, the H8000 Black Hole, which is just, you know, your standard Black Hole preset. But those three, really, these, uh, those three plugins on top of Generate, you're able to very easily make that same effect, which is the effect that truly made me fall in love with Eventide in the first place. So that's Genesis Worlds. So I love drones, especially very, I guess, evil sounding doomy kind of drones. So I call this doom drone. And the way I made this is, again, using generate just as my base, but then I'm using really the mangle verb and the crush station to basically do all the heavy lifting. So I'm gonna break it down again from the beginning. Generate on its own. It's just a low, almost uh, square wave sounding thing. But the first big thing I'm gonna do to it is mangle verb and it's almost 100% wet, it's 95% wet. But what it sounds like is this. It's already huge and cavernous and that's what's so fun about it. So what I have going on is there's overdrive, of course, because mangle verb is a distorting reverb and that's what's really fun about it. But without it, let's just uh, take the distortion down. It's fine, it's cool, sounds good, but this, I think I had it right around there. That's a lot more evil, and I like evil, so I'm gonna go with that. Um, 
Then I'm feeding it into the crush station. I should also note that um, in the mangle verb, I have wobble turned up, and that's going to add some modulation into the reverb itself. So without the wobble, it's a lot more stagnant, but with the wobble, then it really, it, it takes on a life of its own. It's really quite cool. So then I'm going to add crush station. And I suppose you could say it's slightly taboo to put a distortion after a reverb. I think it's awesome. I love it because it really, it does incredible things to the stereo field where it blows out the sides in these really odd ways. So distortion after a reverb, such a cool trick. And we're already having distortion from mangle verb, so what's better? More distortion, and that's why we're going to use the crush station. So with this, if I had it 100% wet, now you'll hear the full effect of the crush station. It's pretty gnarly. And an important thing I'm doing with the crush station, which is really cool, is I'm adding the lower octave. So without the octave, but with the octave, then you get this lower growl. So it's huge. And I'm driving it, you know, by say, by what they say is 40. There is post distortion around 38. And I've cut the mids out. That is, um, I just like the way that sounds for a sound like this. It just cleans it up a little bit. And I'm cutting it out at 575. And I'm not using a gate or anything like that. So none of the uh, none dynamics are at work here. But it's just adding a little bit of treble, cutting a touch of the bass, adding some grit. But the octave and the distortion is really the key here. And then lastly, I just used, uh, I wanted a low pass filter, so I just used the Eventide EQ45, but you can use any EQ to do it. But all it does, it just kind of controls the distortion a bit. Just makes it murkier. But. Even automate it, you know, have a lot of fun, bring this thing to life. And a great way to do that is, of course, is, you know, introducing the high end back into it. So that's a fun way to make this dark, doomy, like deathy drone. And again, it's Mangleverb and Crush Station really doing all the heavy lifting from the H9 bundle. I love creating ambiences and such, there's such an easy way to do it using the H9 bundle. And I mean, Black Hole is really the king of this, but I want to make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to start with, uh, once again, I'm going to start with generate and just really simple. You know, again, this, these are, we're starting with really basic building blocks and then making them more extravagant later. So we have our thing and then I'm going to use the Tricera chorus because I love chorus. It's kind of like, I love eighties music and especially chorus guitars. It's just, I love it. But, um, Tricera Chorus does that kind of 80s chorus thing really effectively. And with the Tricera Chorus, our little pad now sounds like this. And I'm using the choral as opposed to chorus. Uh, it's a little bit more intense. And the other thing I'm doing a lot is I'm using the detune function. So beyond just the actual chorus thing, I'm also detuning the channels. And that just makes it even washier. But that's, uh, it's pretty simple, but it's a great sound and swirl. If we engage this, this can make it really swirly too. No pun intended. Sounds great. And now the real trick is we just bring black hole back into it. And this is going to super wash this thing out really far. Now, the great thing about making an ambience with black hole is the wonderful freeze function. And I love this because not only does it sound great, but it's a fantastic compositional tool where having a drone and then, uh, especially because I love film music and there's a lot of drones in that and having this kind of ambient pad, this ambient drone in the background that then you can write over, I find that to be an incredibly creative tool and so inspirational. It's absolutely wonderful.
I love that. It's such a wonderful creative tool. It's just inspiring. Micro pitch is a really fantastic delay. And traditionally, I would always use micro pitch really on a vocal or uh, an instrument just to like do the micro pitch super widening trick. But using it actually as a delay is really interesting and it's very unique. And the reason being is you can delay the individual or you can detune the individual delay lines, which is something that isn't very common with delays, of course. And what's great about that is that as opposed to putting, say, a chorus or you know a detuning thing across your entire signal, this is only affecting the delays, so your dry signal stays, it stays totally pure, but your delays, those are the ones that get modulated a little bit. So let's just do it, uh, let's start from the beginning, right? I'm gonna bypass black hole, because black hole makes life better. But um, here, if we have micro pitch set up like this, I just have, it's a quarter note delay, just a pure digital delay. Sounds fine, sounds nice. but. What makes this interesting is if we then, let's detune the left channel up five cents and the right channel down five cents. And I'm also gonna add a touch of modulation depth. That's just gonna modulate the detuning just a little bit, just to give it a little bit more life. And uh, lastly, the tone, I've rolled off a little bit of the high end and the feedback, it's up pretty high because I really want the delays to ring out. And also the thing about feedback is every time there's a new repeat, it's gonna be tuned further and further and further. So it really starts to get nice and washy. So now when we have it actually all set up like this, our originally kind of boring digital delay, it becomes very lush. And lastly, black hole, because like I said, Black Hole makes everything better. Black Hole makes my life better. I am a happier person because of Black Hole. And it's kind of silly, but it's true. So we add the Black Hole. And now we're in beautiful space again. So we could just take this nice big chord. Let's freeze it. And now that's our outro pad. So the H9 plugin bundle is super inspiring. All these tools, I use them on a daily basis. They are some of my favorite tools in my arsenal and I find them to be endless sources of inspiration. So I highly encourage you to check them out. They're absolutely fantastic. <laughs>